welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Everyday Plus Fashion. My name is Dawn and I am here for part four of the Quest for the Perfect Jean uh, series. And um, this one is gonna be hopefully shorter than the other ones. I apologize for how long they were. Um, but these today was, I only bought some higher end jeans from three different places or three different brands of high of higher end jeans because I you know I don't I'm not independently wealthy so I can't buy $150 jeans multiple pairs of that so I will tell you that the first uh, jeans that I bought were city chic if you watched my city city chic video then you might have seen these I actually first and foremost I bought a size 18 um, I'm not really sure why I bought an 18. I don't know. This was a week months ago, so I can't remember what the mindset was. It made me buy a size 18, but um, I think because I've tried on some of their dresses and sometimes I'm an 18, so I thought, oh, jeans, you know, I should probably buy an 18. So here is the first set of jeans. These are the, what did I just do with it? Oh, here it is. These are the Asha, 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 Asha High Rise Skinny. These are an 18 short. These are city chic jeans. Um, here, and let me show you. These are heck of it. Okay, they're they're just like if you see that that is just a lot of extra room right there. They got some heck of big gold buttons. These are some gold gold buttons. Um, they are just really weird fitting, and obviously they're size 18, so they're definitely a size too big for me um and so i went i went ahead and i bought these and then i decided well i'm okay i'm not giving them a fair shot so i'm gonna buy a 16. so i will just come back right i'll be right back with a 16. okay so these are the same exact jeans the asia high rise and it's a like 16 short which uh the whole short thing is driving me crazy so anyway so these are a very um they're very stretchy they're very comfortable. They again have the heck of gold buttons right here. All the little things are gold. Um, the stitching is like a gold, uh, orangish color. Um, you know, so city chic jeans, I probably shouldn't have put them in this, um, the higher, but they sell them at like higher brands like Nordstrom and stuff, and or they have their own website. Um, they are just awkward fitting, I gotta say. The waist is still really large. It's just really, I mean, it's stretchy and that's great. Super comfortable, I have to say that. They're very comfortable, but I just don't know if they'll stay up. I feel like I'm gonna be keep like hiking them up, you know? And then they're a little bit more fitted through the hip and thigh. Um, but then this, this, can you guys see this really well? This is a lot of extra right here. A lot of extra, the, I feel like the butt is like saggy. So you just see that extra stuff in the butt? Can you guys see, hopefully you can see that. Um, it just, I don't know, the pockets are super low. They like touch the top of my leg. And then, then there's the legs. Let's talk about the legs for a minute. The legs are, I don't know, kind of tight and then loose and then tight and then loose. I don't know. They're just interesting. Um, I don't know if I should be pulling them up. These are a short and they are all, all still, um, look at that. Do you see the extra? Do you guys see this extra right here? that they literally, and you know, I guess I could pull them up. Are you guys looking at my shirt right now? Quit looking at my shirt. Um, I know, that looks weird. Doesn't that look weird? Oh, maybe not so weird. That's actually not too, too bad. But even just right now, as I'm sitting here, the bat, the butt is just like falling down. Um, I don't know if you can see it good enough, but like this right here is just getting bigger and baggier and um, lower, weirdly. And these are high rise. I don't know if I just don't have them hiked up enough or just the waist. You know, maybe I need a 14 in these. You know, I don't really know. But I'm not as impressed. Now, again, I should have probably put these in the $50 to $100 because these really are only about $89 or $100, like $99, $89 $99 or $99. I feel like we're crooked. Um, so they could have went in that thing. But because they're at, they, you can buy them at Nordstrom or online, I thought that they were just kind of a higher priced brand. You know, I'm not a fan, they're okay. If you have a bigger waist even than me, maybe like you, you know, and maybe like the bigger that you get, I would definitely size down. If nothing else, they're, 
true to size in that if you don't care so much about this, like maybe you have a bigger booty than I do, then they'd probably be great for you. So they are just maybe made for more of a like a curvier girl than me. Okay, anyway, so those are the curvy chic jeans, or the city chic jeans. Okay, next we are going to do cut from the cloth jeans. I've heard a lot about these, I'm kind of excited to try them on, and we'll see. Okay, so when I first put these on, I'm like, oh my gosh, these are so soft. These are so amazing. So these are cut from the cloth, um, size 16, Diana Skinny. Okay, and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so soft. These are amazing. Now the reason I, these can go, these can um, set you back anywhere from, kind of depends on which ones you get and where you get them from. I know you get them at Nordstrom Rack and you kind of get them, probably get them for 50 or 60 bucks at Nordstrom Rack. Um, I do know that if you get them at Nordstrom, kind of like brand new, just launched jean, they could be about 100, between 100 and 120. So that's these. Now, so I was like, oh, these fit amazing. These are so soft, these are great, but I want you to again see, and I'm just gonna say, show you, they are a Diana Skinny. Is this a skinny jean? Is this a skinny jean? I think my, the street leg jeans I bought on accident from Lane Bryant are uh, smaller than these. I, I don't know what to do with this, the bottoms of these. I, I, I literally don't know what they mean by a skinny jean, because these are not a skinny jean. Diana, Diana, what are you doing with me? These are not a skinny jean. Now, so, but I, so since that is not, you know, really the issue and what we're really talking about right now, you know, it's basically, obviously they failed the ankle test and the length test, they're very, they're very long. Um, but when it comes to waist size, and softness and stretch these are amazing and these are um oh they're so soft i can't even tell you i wish you could feel them they're so soft but they literally be start getting baggy like as soon as they stop my butt like they're they're baggy like here so i don't know if i went down a size but they would have to be, and maybe I should have got jeggings or leggings or some other word. I just saw that they were cut from the cloth skinny jeans, so I bought them online. I actually got them from Nordstrom. Um, they were on the clearance, so I will tell you that. I did not spend $120 for these, but they can retail for about that much. So I was like, oh, okay. So anyway, so. The next jean, the jean that the world is talking about, the jean that I've wanted to try, basically the closest I'm ever gonna get, this is the closest I'm ever gonna get to being a Kardashian. So I have good American jeans on. Um, first of all, I will tell you, as a disclaimer, I got these on the clearance. They were still pretty pricey, I have to say. Um, now, I bought these in a size 18, and I'll tell you why. I went into Nordstrom one day when I was in San Francisco visiting a friend, went into Nordstrom, I tried on a pair of 16 Good American jeans, and you know what? Couldn't get them buttoned. So when I went to go online to try to find some, I'm like, okay, I better size up because um, I'm gonna not be able to, oh, my lipstick is getting all crusty. Um, I, I, you know, I need to make sure I get a size 18 in these jeans. Now, I will tell you, they're pretty freaking amazing. I will show you. Um, how they look right now, you know, I mean, I just want you to notice that these are high rise These are a high rise skinny and there's like good leg and good waist or something like this And I think these are the good leg jeans. Oh, I probably should have checked that hold on They missed quite a show on that one. i <laughs> be trying to find them. They are these are the good leg jeans and I know they have like good waist and good leg don't necessarily know what the difference is, but these are the good leg jean in a size 18 high rise skinny just basically that. Um, they, if you look, see, they have a little bit of destruction, this little kind of thing going on right here, that this was the ones that were on clearance, so that's why I bought them. It wasn't because I was like, oh, those are so cute, but they were fine. I'm fine with it. Um, so, I wore these. These are actually washed. These are actually worn and washed, so these are like fresh out of the dryer jeans. Um, I wore them for an entire day. I actually wore them for about 14 hours. And this is the thing. They stretched out big time. 
I now understand that this might be an issue for me when it comes to good American jeans that uh, the waist right now, straight out of the dryer, fits me really well. I don't think a size 16 waist is going to fit me. These are good. Okay, so if you can see, this is how much little bit of extra room there is. They're very stretchy. It's fine. They're not like super stretchy, but they're stretchy. This here, again, you know, I'm always going to have this little bit of extra stuff right here. It's just how my body is. Um, here's the tush. Do I look like a Kardashian? Um, these are, that was really embarrassing. I'm sure my, my daughters would be like, what are you doing? Um, so they stretched out a lot. Um, so when I would think, oh, I should probably size down and get a 16 in these because maybe when they stretched out or they wouldn't stretch out so much or whatever. But the problem is I don't know if the waist would fit me with those. So these are probably very, very good jeans for a pear shaped body, not necessarily apple shaped body, which I feel like. The Kardashians are the epitome of pear-shaped bodies and how to rock those things, man. I got to tell you. So, in my opinion of good American jeans, they definitely are good quality. They feel really good. They're soft. They, um, they fit. The ankles are good. They're a little bit long. Did I show you that? I don't think I showed you that. The ankles are a tad bit long. Um, if you can see, they have, look at this extra right here. So they definitely, if they were a little bit shorter, they would probably be better. Um, but I mean, I cannot hike these up anymore. Um, they're very high rise. I mean, here's my boob. Here's the end of my boob. Here's the, here's the rise of the jean. Now they're super comfortable. They're amazingly comfortable. They're really good jean. I, they definitely are a, you know, a good quality jean. You could tell just the zipper and just everything. It's, but it, oh, just a little thing in case you want to know pockets are about, they're short pockets, like your hand can't go all the way through. Um, so I tried on City Chic jeans that run about $100-ish. Um, those did not work for me. Cut from the cloth jeans, probably great jeans if they were actually really skinny jeans and not like weirdly tight on the top and then straight leg. I don't know. Those were just really odd jeans and I wonder if that's why they were on clearance. Um, so I went, I'm not going to really judge those for that, but I did like the way they fit on top. I might consider looking at them probably at maybe Nordstrom Rack so that they weren't, they wouldn't be super expensive um, at like straight out of the gate from like Nordstrom or something. Um, good American jeans. I'm a little intrigued with them still. Um, maybe a 16, maybe I'm going to try the, I'll probably wear these again and um, give them another chance to see if they stretch out now that I've shrunk them. I really, I literally washed them in hot and dried them in hot because they were so stretched out by the end of the day. Interesting to see. Now, this is the last part of my jean series. Um, I have been on a quest for the perfect jean. I tried on jeans from 18 different brands. I, um, if you haven't seen those videos, um, you know, go to my channel or I will try to link those videos below. Um, I, I don't know how to do the little thing up at the top. I don't know how, to, there's so many things I don't know how to do with YouTube, but do you get what you pay for? It's kind of the, the big question at the end. Is it worth spending the extra money to get a better pair of jeans? I don't know how to answer that. Honestly, even after this experiment. Because I really, when I think back on all the brands that I bought, there's a few that stick out to me. The Universal Thread from, from Target were really good jeans. The Rockstar Jeans from Old Navy, really good jeans. Both of those under $50, even retail. And, 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 and the ability to get them a lot cheaper. Probably not Target. They're probably going to be pretty close to that. Not a lot of sales at Target. Um, then the $50 to $100 jean. You know, I really like, I like the Express jean. I like the New York Company jean probably the most. Plus size wise, the Ashley Stewart and the Eloquii jean were both really good jeans, but they just didn't work for the, on the ankles for me. Um, the American Eagle jean ended up being okay, the, the one I did at the end. Um, these jeans, the Amer good American jeans and the cut, oh, cut from the cloth jeans, I don't know what to say about those. City Chic jeans, I will not buy. I probably won't buy City Chic jeans again. I'll probably not look into them. I might, I'm intrigued by the great good American jeans. I might try those again. Um, and she does have a plus size um, 
line. These were straight size. So I might look at the plus size and kind of just see if maybe they have a better um, thing. You know, better. Oh, maybe these are. The 18s are plus size. I don't know. Anyway, I might do that. Um, these are the things that I found. First of all, I'm 5'6", and I have an inseam of about 30, um, 33 inches from top of my thigh to the floor, but I still somehow need to get a short jean, so that'll help me in future when I'm looking, I should probably get a short, um, that I will probably, that size 16 is pretty much my size, I consistently wear sizes in a 16, and most of the retailers, I have to say, were pretty close. Um, I was disappointed in Lane Bryan's jeans. They were very inconsistent in sizing. I didn't understand the stretch thing, uh, which is probably just my problem, not theirs. Um, uh, probably when it came to uh, the, that between Torrid and Lane Bryant, I would definitely choose Torrid. Um, in the high price jeans, you know, to me, I don't think that I would ever pay over $100 for any of the jeans that I bought. Now, that was probably, you know, I would like to try Not Your Daughter's Jeans. I'd like to try some Seven Jeans. I mean, there's some other jeans I would like to try because I think that I would give them another shot. That being said, if you liked these videos, if you liked this series of videos, and you want me to do more stuff like this, like trying on different brands of the same kind of thing, or even some more jeans that you would like to see, maybe more Reese's, maybe like maybe some Sevens or some Not Your Daughter's Jeans, or some kind of jeans that you guys really liked. I had a friend tell me the other day about some pink something jeans, and I didn't even hear of those. So anything that you guys want me to do i would love to do these i like to do these i like it's the thing feel like it's a little more informative than just trying out a bunch of clothes from a place that you don't maybe necessarily even like my style and so this is more of hopefully you could click on these videos and it can help educate you a little bit when you go to sit down with the computer and buy something online you have a little more information when it goes and so you maybe won't have to return them so much and so and you know if you you know I would say that we live in a really good time to be plus size in that there are so many options for jeans, so many price points. You can find a good pair of jeans that fit you, that you feel comfortable in, that you can hang out in all day and not feel like you're gonna die because they're so tight. Um, I grew up in the age of no stretch at all in your jeans and sitting down was a nightmare if you were plus size. So um, I really, really hope that this is beneficial to somebody and um, if you want to continue to see videos like this, make a comment below. Um, like it if you um, if you just want to like it, that would be great. Or go ahead, please subscribe. I would love it if you subscribed. And um, I would like to get to know um, you know some of, some of the people and just like what is it that you want to see from a apple-bodied plus-size person, and um, you know what kind of things are you interested in. And I think the next video I'm gonna do like this is gonna be a shapewear video. I wanna buy shapewear from a bunch of different price points and see if, again, is it worth spending the money for. So, jeans. Do you get what you pay for? To some degree, yes. But I think you're perfectly fine with the price point of $50 to $100 on sale. I think you're gonna be perfectly fine and find a great pair of jeans that you can wear, that you would love, and then be able to continually go back to that same pair of jeans. Um, for me, that will probably be toward. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all those things. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, uh, Everyday Plus Fashion. Again, my name is Dawn. Thank you so much for watching. Love you.